it's me, guys. <laughs> Today we're reviewing The Battle Wizard, a movie review. Movie review. First of all, let's look at the poster. Wow, why would anyone watch this, you might ask? I don't know. Sometimes I'm just so random. That's why I'm a complete mad light. Hey, let's watch that movie. The absolute mad light. This is from 1977. And uh, it's actually a really good time. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. I like this review saying that it's uh, some of the worst editing I've ever seen. <laughs> you don't understand, okay? It's Oscar worthy. But without further ado, let's pr 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 break it down. That's it, that's all the intro for the movie, and it just starts. That's good editing, okay? I don't want to hear about every single person that is part of this film if I'm already deciding to watch it, okay? This movie was ahead of its time. Now, it starts off with a lovely story of Cheng Wang. I don't remember his name. I don't know if that's racist for me to just make up a name. Who's in quite of a pickle. And <laughs> He finds out that his mistress is pregnant. Oopsie! Then literally seconds away from him finding out that she's pregnant, this guy just jumps in. This movie doesn't waste time, okay? He has barely just gone, ah, damn, that sucks. Ah! Maybe it was eavesdropping. Maybe, actually, now that I think about it, he probably was watching them. But then again, it doesn't make sense for him to barge in after they had sex and after she said that. It doesn't matter. Come on. <laughs> So you may think to yourself, ah, it's okay, it's a standard kung fu film. Oh no no! Oh no no, it gets infinitely better very fast. <laughs> the knees! That's right everybody! Why does he shoot this man from his fingers with lasers on this man's both knees? I don't know. Does anyone know? Please let me know in the comments your top five reasons. So he tries to escape, but you can't escape the knee gun, okay? You just can't. <laughs> you know, someone's trying to escape. What do you do? You shoot off their knees. That's what needs to be done. <laughs> this is me when I get my knees fired off by a finger laser. And that was that. I heard you were in a fight five seconds after it happened. This movie doesn't waste time. Did she hear the actual fight or did she hear gossip of there being a fight while the fight was happening? I'm so confused. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'll break it down. This is her fiance. The other one is like, hey, who the hell are you? Uh, get out. And he's like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> Cheng Cheng, that's his name. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> Cheng Cheng, 
Damn, this intro is fire. It's another example of perfect editing. You have this man sitting in a cage 20 years later. He's still wearing the same yellow robe because he's known as Yellow Robe Man, of course. What other name would he have? I don't think he broke your legs. I think he fired them off. I think you have no legs. And now we see the power of the knee. That's right, everybody. Damn. So basically, the plot is that 20 years later, the son of the man that shot off his knees doesn't want to learn Kung Fu. He wants to be a scholar. He doesn't understand the nonsensical violence. He just want to be peaceful. The daughter of the mistress has grown up to be a... I don't know. I don't know what she is. And uh, her mom says that if she ever finds the wife of the man that she had her child, she has to kill her. She must also cover up her face. Why? <laughs> Why? Why must I cover up my face? Men are bad news. Did you not watch the delight commercial? Don't make me laugh. So the son of the knee shooting man decides to go out in the world to learn about new things. And it's the first time he, he goes outside the palace. What is the first thing he sees? Why, of course, a lady with a bunch of fucking snakes. You know, if I've never left my house before and that's the first thing I see, I probably ju would just go back inside. But that's just me. They uh, train Kung Fu together and obviously he's terrible. But she basically says, ah, you don't really need to practice. Just in case you happen to stumble upon a red-scaled snake, just suck him up and uh, you'll get his power. Great. How convenient. <laughs> They get attacked by a bunch of ninjas, and apparently he decided to change his haircut and complete appearance. <laughs> he has a different robe even. Listen, the snakes are OP, okay? I don't know what they do, but nerf snakes. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going, am I right? Who would win? Two armless people or an entire army? <laughs> hmm. The snakes, of course! Just throw snakes at him! Here you go! <laughs> they just run through that crap! What are they doing? Super Snake! Go Super Snake! Okay, that's just nasty. I'm sorry, but ew. Disgusting. So, Chang Chong uh, manages to escape. 
and he's supposed to get help, but he gets a box, mysterious box that he needs to deliver to the friend of this woman. What's inside the box, Felix? Oh, oh, we'll get to that. Don't worry. So he runs over to the snake girl's friend to get some help, but he's been attacked at the same time. And I gotta say, finally, a strong female protagonist. Finally, you did it right, 1977 China. You did it right. Now, the first girl had snakes as her weapon. The second girl has guess what as a weapon. That's right, everyone. A blanket. <laughs> Not the blanket, please. The blanket that can stop swords. Amazing. <laughs> wow, incredible. She then pulls out the greatest weapon of all time. So we had snakes, we have blankets. Now what do we have? What possibly couldn't she pull out? A bone. A bone that shoots lasers. Epic. <laughs> Where did that girl even come from? And why did she shoot her in the ass? Who's the girl in all of this? I think she just shot her gardener. <laughs> oh, wow! I'll say it now, and I'm gonna say it at a couple other points. This movie was plagiarized by Star Wars. This is basically Chinese Star Wars. We got lasers, we got knees shooting, just like Star Wars, and we, we'll get to the rest of the points eventually. <laughs> One thing that I appreciate about this movie is that they just jump everywhere. Let's go. And they're on a horse. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so the next point. <laughs> so they get attacked again by another ninja gang, and out comes into the rescue. Look at that, that's Star Wars. Come on. It even sounds the same. In comes the rescue, however, Chang Chung. He was given this box. He doesn't know what it does. He doesn't know what's inside of it, but for some reason he decides to just pull it out. And this is what happens. <laughs> Slippy! <laughs> I just love how it, it jumps out, bites the man in the neck, and then jumps back in. What a polite frog. What a nice trained frog. Why does he have a bone laser? I don't... I still don't get it. Is that a thing in China? Maybe that's a thing in China that I don't know about yet. Chinese Star Wars, everyone. I gotta say though, I, as bad as uh, and completely nonsensical this movie is, the action is actually pretty good sometimes. <laughs> when it's not about blanket and snakes and bone laser. It looks legit. What the hell is that? She's back! Why does she have maracas? What are those? Maraca girl out for revenge! Oh no, Maraca girl! <laughs> no! This movie is just like Star Wars. I've been saying it so many times. When will people listen? George Lucas ripped this movie off. He turned it into a billion dollar enterprise. And China is out for revenge. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Alright, I don't really like the lobster guy, so I'm just gonna ignore him. He, he's just annoying. 
All you need to know is he's a, he's a lobster guy. I don't, and he's, I don't, I, he's a lobster guy, okay? He attacks Ninja Bone Girl. Uh, Bone Ninja Girl. Which means that he has to suck out the poison from the lobster claw. And it's, it's kind of weird. Like, is this supposed to be romantic? It's just good. Ew, what the? Why is this sexual? China. China what? Just like Star Wars. Oh, I just realized actually. They're siblings. Just like Star Wars! Oh my god. Is no one gonna talk about this? Is no one gonna mention this? Am I the only one with a small chub right going? Damn, that's hot. Yeah. No? Okay. So, five seconds after that beautiful sucking little segment, the red scale snake appears. Hooray! Time for more sucking! Bite its throat and suck out the blood! You know, in The Matrix, when Neo learns Kung Fu, through a very similar aspect of uh, basically no training, just per automatic, he knows kung fu. Same thing happens in this plot, so I guess you can say Matrix stole from this movie as well. Ma we have the famous scene of Neo saying, I know kung fu. Here, however, we have a much better line. This is good news! I know martial arts! <laughs> the Matrix stole from me. I know Kung Fu. Bitch. Cheng Wa Chang Wa. Is that racist? That's what he said though. This is good. I have a weapon. Cheng Wa Chang Wa. Long Wa Long Wa. I know Kung Fu. This is good news. Then you will be able to be my husband. So she swore that anyone that sees her without the mask, she has to marry, otherwise she has to kill them. So she's like, hey, you want to be my husband? And it's one of the nicest moments I've ever seen. I'm willing to marry you. <laughs> Truly makes my heart pound deeper and deeper of love and affection. That was beautiful. <laughs> Hobitori? Is that a good day in Chinese? Those nipples are distracting. This shot is just awful. It's just horrible to look at. What the f are they doing? And he's back. The greatest character of all time. He's called Yellow Robe Man, but he should really be called Knee Man. Because those are some goddamn knees. Yeah. <laughs> I want those. Legs, please. I. Where do I get those? They're amazing. I really appreciate uh, shots like these also. Uh, they're filming whatever this is. Oh, there she is. Okay, great. There she is. Found her. <laughs> Along in this shot, you can basically see the stilts. He never lost his legs, everyone. <laughs> So they capture Chang Chong and Secret Ninja Lady and they say, hey, why kill them when that's exactly our goal when we can just feed them to the gorilla? Feed them to the gorilla. And I know this is going to be surprising, but another example of ripping off Star Wars. Now, if you're confused by the plot, don't worry, I am as well. Oh my god, he's back! Where did he come from? What just happened there? Why did he fly in? I need to see- Where did he come from? I love him so much. Okay, how is this not like Star Wars? Remember in episode 6? Is it episode 6? When they're thrown down in the pit to fight the giant monster? Same plot. Same plot. 
instead of a giant monster, there's a gorilla. That's the small detail. But otherwise, it's exactly the same. George Lucas, I'm on to you. Look. Identical. <laughs> it's identical, okay? Show frame by frame. Actually, don't. It's a kung fu fighting gorilla. Incredible. That's a lot of laughing in this movie. Now, the yellow robe man has only begun to show his power level. He also has the... Yeah! Oh my god! George Lucas, again, basically the same as the lightsaber. Shoot. No, not the fingers! Those goddamn fingers! I don't know what to say, man. I, I just, I don't know what to say. Just like Star Wars. So they're about to die from the gorilla, and she's like, hey, uh, eat the toad. And he doesn't even hesitate. He's like, yeah, I guess I'll eat the toad. She hasn't even explained why you're supposed to eat the toad. He's just like, yeah, I guess I'll eat the toad. You know why? I, guess, I know I'm dying from a gorilla beating me to death, but I'll eat the toad. <laughs> Oh, okay. You may maybe you should have said that before telling me to eat the fucking toad. Eat the toad. Eat the toad. Don't eat the toad. Poor Slippy. Ah, no. Ew. Slippy. And now he has the power of toad and snake. And oh my God, what is that attack? What is that? No! You can't just take his arm! You didn't have to do that! Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Chen Chun, you have now acquired superpower. You have basically gone Super Saiyan. You can kill with your bare hands. Your reaction, please? Oh, oh this is great! This is just great! Ah! Oh. Okay, how is this not like Star Wars? You, you go ahead and tell me. Hey! What is happening? I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know what this spell is. I don't know if any of this is a spell. Is this a common thing in China or something? I've never been to China. I don't know if this is what you do. But I feel like I'm. Did he just shoot him in the knee? He did not just shoot him in the knee again. What? <laughs> That's my move! <laughs> this movie should copy strike George Lucas, and I can copy strike this movie. Now they escape the pit, and it's time for the final battle. I don't really know what is happening. See, they always go for the knees of fing Chinese. Oh my! <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Couldn't he have said something cooler? Like, Dragon's Flame! Rawr! No, it had to be. <laughs> oh my god, he's at it again. What is happening? If it's Red Dragon Soul, then why is the beam green? Now, of course, the movie had to sneak in a couple more knee attacks. I don't know what is up with Chinese people and knee attacks, but I'm wearing knee pads, which I can't wear. But if I had knees, I would... You know what? Never mind. Look at this. Why? Stop. Was that necessary? Another knee attack! Another knee attack! Oh. 
Jesus Christ. I want those legs. You see, you clearly see his leg here, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, I want that! I want it! Okay, that's his next Oh, don't shoot it off his leg again. He did not do that. And then he dies. I don't know. It's pretty it's pretty gross. It's the Seminis. They they like to do weird sh I don't know. I don't know why they did that. And then the movie is over! <laughs> he rides off through the sunset with Snake Girl. Snake Snake Sun is his true love. How nice. And that, everyone, was the Battle Wizard. I think that was the name of the film. And I think I learned a lot here today. And that is... I'm sure there's some message to be taken from this. Now, a lot, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, why Why do you watch this movie? It's so weird, it's so sh Well, I actually really liked it. I think it's so nice that what people criticize it for was the bad editing. This movie wasted no time, and I really appreciated that. I'm sick and tired of watching movies these days, and you know exactly how the plot is gonna pan out. It just bores me to death. With these movies like these, you never know what's gonna happen. So hey, if you have an afternoon and want to have some good laughs with your friend, I recommend watching The Battle Wizard. And you can learn more about snakes, gorillas, and sucking things out. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash like if you did, and if you want more epic movie reviews like this one. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye everyone! Bye bye! Bye bye! I must go!